finishes in the most spectacular manner to win his eighth title in Rome. Hi guys, John Millman here in Acapulco. Hitting the courts a little later, but first uh, we're going to get out here on the jet skis and, and have a bit of fun. Acapulco, Mexico, home to the Abierto Mexicano Telcel, presentado por HSBC. This ATP 500 event is a hit with the players who relish the unique off-court experience. We're about to do the longest zip line over water on this planet and I'm actually scared of heights. It was a lot of fun. I tried to wet Donna a little bit out there. Acapulco is such a nice place. The water temperature is amazing and I really enjoyed it. All right, so we're here very close to the zip line now. I'm excited, I'm ready and you know, wish me luck. Why is this so loose? <laughs> Why is it actually so loose? Man, this feeling is horrible right now. Oh, I'm actually serious. I don't know why everybody's laughing. I am so scared of heights. I really don't want to do this. Coming here with a zip line, you know, the ocean and the view is something spectacular and I think hopefully we can do these kind of events more often. The tennis season's a really long one. We're spending many, many weeks on the road and, and so to come to a place like Acapulco where it's as much a physical kind of break as it is mental and, and it makes it for a really enjoyable week of, of tennis and, and pastimes. Guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. That was so much fun, but uh, unfortunately I've got to get back to my day job uh, hitting balls in this heat. But uh, Maybe a, a little bit of jet skiing later on. Uh, hey guys, it's Steve Johnson here. And Nick Kyrgios, we're about to go uh, hit with some kids at the Acapulco Open. It's going to be amazing fun. At the courts, it was a star-studded kids' day, featuring Johnson, Kyrgios and other top players, as well as Puerto Rican pop star Luis Fonsi. Today's a kids' day, so it's all about the kids. It's all about giving back, put some shorts on, and try to play some tennis. We'll see how that goes. The last time I played, I was like 14. So yeah, it's gonna be funny. I'll go out there and try to have fun. Kids' day here is awesome. Here in Kabul, they do amazing kids' days with tons of kids to get all the players involved, and uh, you can see how excited all the kids are. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Honestly, he has the best technique on the court, I think. He's amazing. It's fun. It's like they actually come out here, have such a good time. They all speak English. It's unbelievable. And like, they all know who you are and like they play great tennis. They enjoy it here. So I think this makes this place really special because people really love tennis. They love to come out here and just have fun. And that's why we always come out here and have a smile on our face. And it's easy to, you know, to enjoy it. There was a strong next-gen contingent in Acapulco, with several of them eager to continue their great starts to 2019. Yeah, it's definitely been a, a big step in, in the right direction and uh, I feel like I've been playing some amazing tennis and uh, mainly just believing in myself, in my game and being able to back it up week in and week out. I think that's the most important thing. That's something that uh, I've really worked hard on and to be able to come out and do what I'm doing, uh, I'm very proud of the work I've put in. You know, I love this stuff. You know, I was on the jet skis and everything today. I was, you know, kind of just having fun. And I'm happy with the way I'm playing. I had some good days here. And, and overall, the season so far, I can't complain. But they would have to navigate against a stellar field, headlined by world number two, Rafa Nadal. Excited to be back, enjoying these few days before the tournament started in this beautiful place. And the passion that I, I start the tournament is with the highest intensity possible now to, to make the things the best way possible. Last time I played here was only on clay court, so I, I'm going to see how it looks now on hard court, so doing match uh, night session and all. For sure it's going to be completely different uh, condition than uh, last few weeks indoor in Europe, but uh, I'm excited to be here. This is going to be my second tournament of the year and it's almost end of February, so uh, every player has played more than me basically and I'm looking forward to kind of really get going now because it's a, it's a busy schedule with, you know, with the Master Series is coming up and uh, it's very exciting. Next week on ATP Uncovered, an exclusive all-access pass to the first ATP Masters 1000 event of 2019, Indian Wells. Plus, we take a special look back to last year's Indian Wells final, when Del Potro met Federer in a classic. And don't forget to log on to atptour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.